Hey, what is up, guys? This is Rain, and welcome back to another video on my channel. We are playing Armature Operation Arrowhead once again, as you can see here. We're using a MH60L Blackhawk. Has this cool thing up front, as you can see. And I still got my track IR, hell yeah. And we're doing another one of these landing exercises again, except this time it's a little it's a little difficult now because I've, I'm playing in in extreme mode. No, it's not extreme mode, but it's one of the it's the hardest difficulty setting for Arma 2. And this means that I can't set waypoints, meaning I have to either consult with my GPS, which makes things a lot easier to be honest. As you can see on the bottom right of the screen. Or I have to see the landing zone, you know, with my own eyes as opposed to it being shown to me by a waypoint marker. Oh, this makes it harder too because the units don't have a green diamond around them so you don't know how far away they are or how close they are until they tell you oh this is gonna be hard man so we're gonna be we're gonna have to be really on point here all right but yeah we can't see waypoints we can't so we can't kind of cheat that way so we gotta have visual shit and you know with this helicopter it's gonna be a lot harder too because unlike the little bird there's a lot of places a lot of blind spots like down here and right there with the you know stuff up there so we're gonna have to rely on that oh they're already there holy shit all right let's land so this means that i gotta make them you know the units i gotta make them go to a waypoint that's a little bit further from the actual pz or else i'm gonna you know step on them and possibly kill them all right this is dangerous right here this is really tight, but I think we can land it. I think there's some rubble right underneath us. But if we keep her steady, which I'm going to try to do, we can bring her down safely, alright? Our back, we should have a little bit of a clearance at the back. Actually, I'm going to go turn around just to make sure that's the thing, because I don't want to make any assumptions. Yep, see? Alright, let's land it like this, right? Alright, this is going to be a bit weird with all the rubble down there, but we can do it. It's nothing we can't do. Alright, bring her down. With this thing, dude, I've seen, like, videos of Blackhawks landing really rough. So, I'm probably going to be... Yeah, as you can see there. Yes, I'm probably going to be really hard with this thing. Like, when I'm absolutely running out of space, I'm going to be putting her down. Instead of, you know, babying it. Alright, while we're in standby at PZ2... Wait, PZ2? <laughs> I landed in the wrong spot. I didn't even land in LZ1 yet. Alright, let's go to LZ1, because we went to the second one already. Oh my god. We're going to go northeast. And we're going to be ingressing to the LZ from the southwest. Alright, let's go. Heading northeast. Keeping her steady till we get a good altitude. There we go. Alright, northeast. Ooh, with, with this helicopter too? Like, look at this. You, there's a bar right there. So you can barely see. I have to, like, duck down actually see this shit. God. Oh, there we go. LZ's already right there. Holy shit. So I gotta I gotta fly a bit slow. Because this thing, the Blackhawks, the one thing I hate about Blackhawks is that they go fast really quickly. You know, which is kind of an advantage, you know, if you're trying to get away from a spot ASAP, but when you're trying to bleed and be more precise with your controls it gets a heart right there's an antenna right for oh actually we can we don't need to worry about that right there we go dude but this helicopter looks fucking nice dude this is probably the best model that exists in the whole armor realm right team yellow dismount oh don't tell me i fucking i landed them in pz1 they, they're supposed to land in LZ1. Oh my god, okay. It gets so fucking confusing, dude. Just because you can't see them. I've never done this before. This is the first time I, I'm actually doing this exercise without the waypoint, so I, I still need to get used to this. And this is the first time I'm actually flying this seriously, because I have been flying this, you know, just to get used to it. But I, I haven't... I probably never flown this for more than an hour since 2017 because I did have this helicopter back then. Hence why, you know, I have such a 
liking for it because of the nostalgia factor for it too. Because I think if you go back in my channel, you'll see that I have this helicopter. This very helicopter is one of the thumbnails. I think it's called... It's one of the Arma 2 cinematics. It's pretty cool. I had to delete the music in it because it was copyrighted. Right, that's LZ right there. PZ. We're going to be ingressing from the east because we're already here. Right. But dude, like, with Track Hayardo, this looks fucking badass, right? Like, you, you get to fucking see everything while still controlling the helicopter. This is one of the most badass helicopters in the game. Besides the Little Bird, of course. That's my favorite one. But this, this is, this is a close second. Right, we're flying really high, so when we descend, we're going to be picking up a lot of speed. Unless we do it carefully, right? I think we should initiate it now, actually, because it's not... Of, it's not. It's really not that far. It's not a far walk. As you can see here, we're picking up a lot of speed. We're at 240 right now. So we gotta be very careful here. Holy shit. Holy fuck. The momentum there. Did you see that shit? This thing's heavy as fuck, man. I'm so used to the little bird that is like, you know... Alright, we're not gonna be ingressing from the east. To the little bird, which is like, you know, really light. And so when you have a a massive... No, they're already there. When you have a massive decrease of altitude, it doesn't really carry the momentum, but this thing is fucking heavy, dude. Right, we're gonna be coming in from the south. Because we're trying to bleed our speed while simultaneously decreasing our altitude and finding a good approach to LZ, PZ, fuck. I don't know where they are, I think they're to our left, so I'm gonna go a bit to the right here. I don't wanna squash our troops, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, with these massive landing spots, I'm gonna be taking it slow, but in the really tight ones, I'm gonna be very hard about it. Boom, there we go. Why are there bunkers here? That's weird. Alright, this is my favorite one probably, because I like one of the landings I did here in one of my videos. Alright, we're gonna go, we're just gonna follow the road here. We're going to go south and try to see if we can meet this thing. And then we're just going to head east. As soon as we get to the highway, we're going to head east. See if we can find the LC. Right. right, there we go. <clears throat> Let's go. Alright. You, you know, I, I know... <laughs> I can't believe that I forgot about this helicopter, dude, but the only reason why I downloaded this helicopter is because, you know, I recently... <laughs> I, I think this is more so to my friends... Uh, I don't know what the word is. C Caleb, he went to the site for our military where they advertise their jobs, and we were just looking, and then he went to the helicopter pilot, and we were, <laughs> we were just fucking staring at it for like an hour. Right, that's right here. We gotta slow down really, really considerably here. I think it's to the other side of this, so we still got some space. And then, you know, this morning, you know, after I woke up, I just downloaded this because, you know, I was looking at the. Right, we live in Australia, right? We were looking at the Australian navies. Put her down. Nice. Team Yellow, dismount. Go to Australian navies site. And we were looking at their helicopters, and they were using. Oh, right, hold on, let me get let me focus real quick. All right, we're just gonna go north. We're gonna go from here and follow this road up. We gotta make sure that we keep that road in mind, or else we're gonna get lost. All right. But we were looking at the helicopters that the Australian Navy uses, and they use the Seahawk. Which is, you know, a variation of the Black Hawk. And the MRH-90, the Taipan. I think there might be another one, but I'm not too sure. I think that might be Army. I think the Navy only uses that too. The Seahawk and the Taipan. But we also looked at the Army. I think we did, at least. And they use... <clears throat> you, you know, like, fucking Black Hawks, man. I did not know that there was so many Black Hawks around. I thought it was just... Well, I mean, Black Hawk types around. I thought there was just, you know, one Black Hawk, and then they just built off it, but it's mostly named a Black Hawk. But I didn't know there was so many. There's like Seahawk, Nighthawk, and then the Black Hawk. It's crazy, man. But then, you know, I woke up this morning, I was like, okay, you know what? 
fuck it. I'm gonna go see how fun it is to drive around in a Black Hawk. And then I downloaded this mod, which is, you know, because I remembered that I had this. And yeah, here I am, driving this around. I've spent most of my morning just driving this stuff. And it's so fun, because that thing, I don't know why, it's, it just gives you such a... Such a sense of direction or orientation. Just this thing, just having that thing in front of you, it makes you feel like there's something in front of you. But th th this is a pretty cool helicopter. Like, I fucking love this helicopter, dude. Like, if you look at it from the outside, it's badass. And at the sides, look, look, there's, we don't have any doors. You see that? We don't have any doors to the side. <laughs> Alright, I think they're gonna get there soon, so we gotta start our approach. Oh, so they're gonna beat us there. I think they might already beat us. Alright, the next one is really, really tight. <clears throat> Fuck my voice, man. This n next one is gonna be really, really tight, so we gotta take it really, really slow. Alright? And if we don't find a good spot, we can... We gotta, you know... Find a better spot. The GPS is really helping me. A lot. Because if I have to use my eyes to... That'd be fucking hard. Alright. I don't want to zoom in because that makes the gunner's target shit. Oh. Now it doesn't. Alright, it's to the right a little bit. Oh, right there. That little field down there. Yeah, we can do that. Let's turn around. I don't think we need that big of a turnaround. We just gotta bleed our speed here. And there we go. Alright. They're going to be approaching from our tail rotors. So we got... Oh, there they are. Make sure we don't squash them. Be very careful of these trees and buildings. Or else we'll... Die. Oh, we landed on a heap of garbage. I knew it. Right, here we go. Why the fuck are they still going? Is it down the road? <laughs> right, that was not the best landing. Next one is LZ4. It's in the industrial area. Meaning we gotta be careful coming in. Because, as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff here. There's antennas, power lines around this area. I think this is a power line right here. Maybe. I think it is. Maybe. So, we're gonna take it high. You know, we're not gonna go low. Because in here we can afford to go low because there's barely any power lines and big towers that we can't see from afar. But here, this is, it's really dangerous here, so we'll take it from... We'll go up high and we'll just ingress to the LZ from the north. And we'll see if we can fit in there. Alright? All right, come on, I, I gotta do a cool landing for you guys, man. I don't want to use too much rudder because I don't have a rudder pedal. The rudder in this game is like OP, dude just completely turns you. No resistance at all. all right, just keep her slow, keep her slow. We gotta bleed some of our speed here. Alright. It's near the industrial area. Like the industrial area marking on the map. So we'll do a diagonal turn so I, I can get a better view of the landing spot. Right, we'll do one of these. Because see, th this actually helps with a track IR. See, look at that. That power line. There we go. There it. And those towers too. Really dangerous, dude. All right. Ah, uh, we're going a bit too fast to do, be doing this. Hey, how I don't have rudder pedals. So it's probably gonna look very ugly. You're just gonna see the helicopter jerking, but that's me using the rudders. Get a better view of the landing spot. I don't see it. I don't want to look at the map because it kind of shows you. So we're going to be doing this, right? Real time. I'm just going to assume that we're not in a combat situation, right? So we're going to be flying a little slow. Because, oh, there it is. All right, it's just a bit to our right. But I'm going to go do a quick one through. All right, it's just behind, the, behind that building right there. Oh, see, it doesn't show up in the map. But that's a junkyard right there. As you can see. Or a something yard. It's where you store shit. So we can't land in there. 
So we gotta, let's land to the north of it, right here. Gotta watch out for these light posts or whatever these are. They can't be radio towers, because who the fuck puts radio towers near a junkyard? That's weird. Watch the building to the left. Watch the buildings up ahead of us. Alright, this is gonna be really ugly. Alright, put her down. Oh. Alright. Team yellow. Alright, we're good. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Make sure we don't hit those things. I don't wanna use my rudder pedal there. Alright. Gain speed. See, there, there's so many of those things. Those things. And it's gonna fuck you, dude. Sport, which is why I hate this place so much, because you can barely do any low flight. Or else you'll die. Alright, where's that PZ? See? Alright. Oh, right underneath us? That place right there? Alright, we can do that with the crash helicopter. I'm guessing that's the... Yep, that's a gas station. Alright. Alright, we kind of know where it is, so we can afford to kind of chill for a moment. Probably one... One revolution around the PZ, then we can do our landing. You know, like, I've been watching so many helicopter videos on YouTube lately. And, like, I, I've seen the inside of the Blackhawk, and they got that thing, too, that handhold thing. Like, it actually says handhold. And to see here, it looks fucking nice, though. Like, even the inside, it's so much different compared to the other planes in this, other aircrafts in this game. And then the no doors is just, you know, just cherry on top. Make sure we don't lose sight of that shit. And I lost sight of it. That's great. I, I think I know where it is anyways. It's just over there. Let's see if I can pinpoint where it is. Find that gas station. Right, we're gonna do... Oh, uh, fuck. Alright, let's complete this fucking speed, man. I don't want to use my keys here, so I'm using my... Alright, this is, should be to our left. Yeah, our left. Yep, it's just right underneath us. I will do a shallow turn. Hopefully, we're gonna, I'm going to use my keys here because, goddamn, it's so hard to fucking do this shit. Actually, nah, nah. I'm going to use my mouse because I'm not a pussy. Alright. Gas station? Where's that gas station at? Fuck, I lost it. It's to the right. Oh, yep, right there, right there. I see it. That thing, white, the red, out, ah, white shit with the red trims. Yeah, uh, see that shit? I, I, told, I told Caleb last night, because we were reading, reading through the job description for a Navy pilot, and they were saying all pilots must have clear, clear, you know, speech. And as you can see here, I'm trying my best. I'm actually taking an active I'm actively trying to speak clearer right now and it's so hard but maybe I just need practice because I have I haven't been talking that much lately at least you know I haven't needed to talk to the point where I need to be clear in a long time Team Yellow, board that. no because I've been in university basically all I need to do whatever they are all I need to do is fucking study. So that's one, one shit that I need to do, right? Last landing. And this is to our south. We're gonna go west. We're just gonna be following the road. Fuck it. We're gonna go west, and then we're gonna be following this main road right here. This one's really tight. So we're gonna be following the main road. It should pop up to our left. So we're gonna take a look. We're gonna look to our left. See how good that landing zone is. And then we're going to do a turn, and then ingress into the LZ from the south. All right. So go west. That's what we're doing. All right. Go up. Oh, by the way, in that video that I made, uh, that Arma 2 video I made, another one of these, you know, the first Arma 2 video I made in a long time, from a couple of days ago, I called this thing. Target that out. That Chase thing. Five. Hold out a joystick, and it's not a joystick. I was itching my brain 
so much, and it's called a cyclic. A cyclic, that's what a cyclic is. It's not a joystick. Apparently helicopter pilots get really anal about that, or at least the ones that I've seen talk about <laughs> people calling it this thing a joystick. It's a cyclic, right? And I think the collective is this one, the one, that, that thing right there. And I think that one rate controls uh, that controls the angle so that you can move forward or backward and it also controls your altitude all right right here all right we can do that it seems clear enough hey I haven't been very you know well versed in this so please take it with a grain of salt but this collective I think controls the angle because the propeller isn't just fixed, it's in an angle, so that it can move the helicopter forwards and backwards, and so that, you know, it doesn't... Actually, I'm mostly talking out of my own ass, I think. Right, there's a bunch of shit here. I really need to get my get myself well-versed in this, you know, because helicopters are interesting, dude. They're, like, so fucking nice, dude. Like, every time I see helicopters, like, you know, you can't help but feel... Amazed. Alright, there we go. Get him out. Team yellow. Disembark. All right, next one is a bit one tight too. There's a building here that could possibly be problematic for us. So we're gonna go south. And when we hit this tower, we're gonna go east. All right. All right. Everybody's out. Let's go. Go south and go east. We're gonna use our rudders here. We're gonna be doing it slowly to make it look realistic. Right, look out for that tower. What the fuck is that tower, dude? Are we even in the right road? Hold on, am I? Yeah, we were on the right road. I think we didn't see the tower. Hold on, weird. I did not see a tower there. Maybe it's a small tower. Just blend it in really well. Now we're going fast. God damn. See this thing? Just 180 turn while you're while you're increasing the collective. And it takes you to fucking 200. You know what? I think we know where we are. We don't need that tower. Yeah, we don't need that tower. So we have the GPS. We're trying to do this, you know, keep it at least somewhat authentic without the GPS, but... Oh, that one's actually pretty easy. I thought that was going to be a lot smaller than it is, but it's actually really big. So we can do that. Right. We can do, we can probably afford one revolution around the PZ, and we can start landing. We're going to go this way. We're going to go anti-clockwise. Basically, lately, my thing lately has been helicopters and guitars. That's that's my thing right now. You know, I, I really hate how I change shit so much. I don't know, it's, maybe it's sometimes it's a good thing, but I, I hate how I can't just dedicate my time to one thing, you know? Because, yeah, I, I just need to dedicate shit. Start, start being more responsible following through with my hopes and dreams because I do want to be a helicopter pilot someday especially in the military that's that's my goal right now that's been my goal since I was a kid except I wanted to be an airline pilot but military pilot dude that's fucking cool too I, I thought we were a lot further so I thought we were I was about to go into my final descent there but then yeah that was very Close. All right, let's go turn around here and then land. Yeah, that, that's my thing right now, you know. I'm still going to be doing my accounting course and everything, you know. Make sure that I'm good just in case I can't become a military pilot because that is really hard. That's apparently one of the most challenging and competitive roles in the military besides special forces I think you know if you got the right mindset and 
the military doesn't fuck you, I think you're pretty fucking good, man. Team Yellow, board that. Because, you know, I don't know, maybe it's different in the U.S., but here in Australia, the military is, like, really anal about who they take in, which makes sense, you know, you don't want a bunch of psychos and... You don't want a bunch of psychos in your military. But at the same time, like, they nitpick so much, like, you know, having such, like, little conditions, like asthma, that you haven't had since you're a kid, or, I don't know, ADHD. Like, it's, it's so dumb. So many little things that they nitpick. But again, it makes sense, right? You don't want, you don't want somebody who wants to kill everybody holding a rifle. It makes sense. But sometimes it just does not make sense, because I've read so many threads on Reddit, and everything about these people, like, they seem fine. Or at least from their descriptions, they seem fine. They could, they could be fabricating things for all I know. But they seem fine, you know? And yet they're not getting accepted into the military, which is kind of dumb, if you ask me. You know, like, if, if you're of sound mind, you know, you can walk, you can talk. Like, I don't know what else is... Again, of sound mind, as in you don't want to kill people. And you have your conditions treated and managed. There's no reason why you can't do what you want to do. But what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? I've never been at this side of the map. I like how it's like a completely different map here. You know, like one side's an urban jungle, and then right here it's just bunch of grass and trees and green shit and when we go here we're gonna get, find the urban jungle once again so nice man Dude, I'm like really motivated to play on the two right now just because I've been researching a bunch of army shit military shit and I've been in a couple of weeks it's gonna wear off <laughs> just like how I did that I, I don't think I told you guys this but I literally applied for the Air Force just because I watched Star Wars I watched Rogue One, and I was like, man, that is so cool. The only way you'll have those experiences is in the military. So I applied for the Air Force, and I fucked up the aptitude tests. <laughs> and so I'm just going to wait. I have like a one-year wait to do the aptitude test again, and that's going to be in a couple months. <laughs> I, I did want to join the Air Force, but watching Star Wars like completely made me want <laughs> to join the Air Force. Like, it, it was enough to the point where I, right, you know, took the steps, and the guy, ah, hey, how I, it's to the point, you know, where I, I did my testing, and the guy, oh, I forgot I told you, I didn't, I don't think I told you guys about this, but I, I was, I applied for a bunch of officer roles, And, you know, I fucked the aptitude test because I didn't know that, because of COVID, they were doing aptitude tests online. And I thought it was a, a practice test. And, and it was a, the actual aptitude test. So I fucked it up. I barely prepared. And then the guy calls me. You know, he's going to talk about the jobs that I've unlocked. And I was talking about, you know, how I want to be an officer. And the officer is the only role where you're doing this and this and this. And then he told me my jobs, and I didn't unlock any officer roles, and I was so fucking embarrassed, dude. <laughs> yeah. And you know, this time, I'm gonna make sure I study for that damn aptitude test. I'm gonna make sure that I get the jobs I want. Same time, you know, I'm still gonna be keeping my shit open. I'm not gonna stop studying my master's. Alright, alright, let's do this. I've been trying to do this lately, with the helicopters. This thing has a rear wheel, a wheel, uh, yeah, a wheel near our tail rotor, and I'm, I've been trying to keep it, you know, in a line, like straight, with a line, this line right here. Alright, let's, let's see how close we can get it to this line. That's not centered, that's not centered.
Ooh, this looks really close, dude. Look at that. Look at that. That is... I think that's... I think we got it. Let's... Oh, that sounds so... Shit, stop spinning. Let's see. Let's see. Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I was close, dude. I thought I was in it. I just needed to turn my rudder. I just needed to turn my rudder slightly to the right, and that would have been perfect. Look at that. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do like playing now too. And it's a lot more fun with this thing, with the track IR. So, I can't wait to do more. Alright, see you guys later. Hope you guys have a great day. And stay safe, right? Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.